what's up everybody my name is Trophin at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to XCOM 2 the Valkyrie playthrough. Today we're gonna go on Operation Rotting Key where we need to recover a resistance operative. So this is a resistance orb so we need to do this for the Templars and if we succeed we get an engineer and 90 intel. The mission is very difficult and there's an unknown enemy on the battlefield. There should only be 8 however so this should still be doable. Today we're taking two Grenadiers, a Sharpshooter, a Ranger and two Specialists. So we'll see how this will end. And we're dropping in on top of a train it seems like. The VIP is hiding in the tunnels not far from your position. One of their field operatives is also on site to assist you in the rescue. Firebrand is standing by, but be careful. We'll have limited opportunities to set up a viable extraction point down there. Okay. So, rescue the resistance operative. We seem to be starting on higher ground, but I'm gonna move our Valkyries down immediately to see what we can find. See you guys in a second. Okay, we see two bolts in one go there. So that's an officer, a shield bear. I think I saw an Archon and something else. I wasn't fast enough there to uh, spot what that was, but it seems... Like, Erika would have a really good position if we put her over here on the corner with a sniper. So I'm just gonna move in that direction and uh, see what we can do from there. Ah, there we go. Double Archon. Double Archon and a Spectre? I think it was a Spectre. Um, so rather annoying, but nothing we can't handle just yet. Let's put Erika up here as we discussed and move even further. Okay, so the officer and the shield bear move out of view, which I think makes this the ideal point to now start firing on our, uh, our three more mechanical enemies over there. So that definitely is an ar uh, two Archons and a Spectre. Um, let's see. I could start off with the Shred Cannon, but then again, they don't need shredding, so that would be kind of a waste. So, I think just a simple grenade might do. Although, I'll keep the grenades for when we need to destroy cover. Um, how are my chances at the moment? 60. 60. That is not good. 60 isn't great. But... I could, however... Ah, that might be interesting. I am going to put Erika on concealed kill zone. So, from here around, if I just move that cone over there, she's uh, on top. So, she should have a nice view. Then Hilda can move right up to this barricade. And she can use the first shot. So, 83 on the Spectre or less on the Archons. Um, I'm going to focus on the Archons though, because I don't really fear the Spectre all that much. So, first shot, 9 damage on an Archon. So they're gonna come out, and I hope they start moving forward so we can fire at them with, uh, with Erika. Ooh, here we go. See, that's it, the plan works. It seems like it works. So Erika does her first shot, and that was a miss, sadly. But then, of course, we should get another one. Come on. Don't we get another one? Ah, there we go. <laughs> I was waiting for it. Absolute silence for a second there. That's a miss on the Spectre as well. That is annoying. Oh, Don't on. you need to fire at that other Archon as well? No? Okay. That is sad. But, 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 but. We can handle this. We are made for stuff like this. So the Archon shots are obviously pretty bad, but if we move over here, here I come. with Emily, she's actually close enough for a sword strike if the Archon would move. She has pretty high crit chances, so let's just take a shot. Oh wow, that was a graze. Okay, this is not going to be as easy as I think it might be. So I already used three shots now, so I don't have a lot of extra options. I still have Kelly's shot. She should probably take care of at least one of the Archons. 
Um, I also don't know why Hilda is standing up right here. Let's see. If I use the Shredkin, how much damage does that do? 8 to 11. Um, if I aim it... So yeah, for some reason, I can't really get the front arc on with us. Huh. Even though it seems like it should, let's do this then. Trying to take away as much of the cover over here with the Shredstorm Cannon. And I love this weapon. Boom! And I think I even hit the shield bear in the back there. That might be annoying if they come fire. Yeah. I, I hit both of them. <laughs> Ooh, this is going to be interesting. Um, so, grenade. I could grenade them in the back there. Oh, damn. This is not good. Because, of course, I think Kali might be able to kill that frenzied Arkel. Uh, so if I put her over... Ooh, there's really not enough cover here. So Kali shot first, 69 on the Arkel. If you put her closer, that might actually get just a little bit better. Um, but I think I'm going to have to flash with... Oh, crap. Because, of course, the Spectre is still there as well. Yeah, let's just try it from here. Uh, our shots aren't going to get any better. So let's just do this. Okay, that's at least one kill. That's right. And then we need... I think we just need a flashbang down range. Um, I can't hit all of them over there. But if I move Jacqueline a little bit closer to Hilda... I can probably put that flashbang in the back, hitting all three over here. Although that might actually be bad. I don't know. Because if I use the flashbang now, the Spectre can't use their shadow ability, their shadow bound ability. And if they don't do that, they're going to fire. And if they fire, they might actually kill somebody. Um, so, a normal grenade, I can't put that far enough. Um, and a shot isn't going to kill the Archon here. Okay, I'm in trouble. Um, then I think the best course of action is going to be... Flashing both the... No, I'm going to have to flash these three guys. If I flash anybody, I'm going to flash these three guys. There we go. It means the Shield Bear can't use the Shield ability. The Spectre can't do anything creepy. And the Officer, I think, also can't mark. And they do get damaged a bit. And that's basically it. Oh, he can still vanish, though. Uh, and now we got Bladestorm. Okay, that was good. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that was lucky. Because 11 damage is, I think, the max the uh, Arashi can do. Ooh. Ah, he can still mark. He can still mark, which is annoying. Because technically, I mean... Ooh, yeah. Okay, that's a miss. That's good. And then the shield bear probably... Ah, oh, he can still do his ability. But I mean, he's almost down. So might as well focus fire on him. The only thing is that the spectre is still around. He shouldn't be able to do anything here, but... Let's reload Erica, who was completely useless. Um, and then let's see. I think this is going to be up to Jacqueline. So if we... Put her over here. We might just bomb the hell out of these guys. Because they have shields. And I don't want them to have shields or cover. So there we go. Explosion! Dans la pipe! There we go. Boom! Shield bear down. Loot destroy. Again, every time I use explosions. There's, a, there's something of loot in there. Um... Then, yeah, I think the other uh, the other thing is just... You know what? I don't even use need to use running gun, probably. If I move up over here... I could probably just kill it from here. 80% should be fine. There we go. Talon round 16 damage. How many is that now? Um, and then I'm going to have to move Erica closer. Because it seems like this area... Yeah, it's just a giant sinkhole over here. Which is a bit weird. Because uh, this is seemingly just the void... 
Um, but moving up, and I'll see you guys in a second. And then, of course, the Spectre kind of forgot about him. And he goes in, but I think he's also going into uh, Bladestorm range there. Lightning reflexes, so he dodges that, but... I don't think he could dodge this. There we go. <laughs> okay, as I said before, Bladestorm is just the best. You want some more? We just got two kills with Bladestorm alone. Ooh, crap. Why is that wall on fire? Oh, that might give us sight all of a sudden. I I didn't... I didn't put an explosive over there. That's not good. I love how the insect noise still keeps going because I shot the specter while it was in insect form. Or she slashed the specter while she was in insect form. Let's put Jacqueline on the corner here. Because I'm assuming we're pretty close to that final batch. There we go. It's the brain in a bo in a bo in an orb. Ooh, wow. Straight through the wall. Hi. Um... So we have, of course, some shredding. So we should probably start with that. But first, let's move Hilda out of the way. She could even just skulljack this trooper, but... Do we need to? I think we need to. That's gonna be fun. Let's just skulljack that, that guy. Um, so maybe from... Here? Skullmine... Hi, big, big orb thingy. And... Oh, no. She missed. She missed. Okay. That's a bit annoying. Um, but... Ooh. That gives me another shot. I didn't think that would give us another shot. That is ridiculous. But, I mean, I'll take it. Ah, uh, he's not dead. He's not dead. I do, do get an ability point from a flanking uh, perspective there. Um, plasma grenade. On both this guy and the wall over here. It shreds armor, but I should probably start with the acid bomb first if I want to do that. So, Marina over here. Let's do this. And let's use... Uh, so, that's a gatekeeper, right? Yeah, gatekeeper. I was right. So let's launch an acid bomb onto this corner over oh. here. Boom indeed. Boom with a big splash. Skasploosh. Acid burn and four armor shredded. And that door automatically opens for some reason. Okay, that's a good start. Now... I'm gonna use... I could actually use a plasma grenade. No, I couldn't because Hilda's in the way. Uh, let's just use a plasma grenade over here and blow open this corner while we're at it. So that should remove the final armor on the gatekeeper. There we go. Shredded that remaining armor. He's also acid burned, so he's really starting to uh, feel the burn. Um, but otherwise, otherwise, we need to check here. I could go in, and that might actually be a good idea. I could go in with run and gun, and then hope that that trooper uh, starts to move because he feels like he's flanked. Uh, I'm even going to put her over here. And that shouldn't put us through the asset. So that's a double flank shot, but we're not even going to use that as a double flank shot. We're gonna just fire at... Ooh. 57. Well then, I might as well just shoot at the uh, the shield barrier then. Oh, that is annoying. I didn't think that that was gonna happen. Okay. Um, who else do we have here? We still have Kelly. But Kelly is in a just as bad position. Uh, and combat protocol doesn't probably work on this thing. Well, not more than on other things. Um... Yeah, it's only 60 from here. So I need to put it in cover over here. And then fire at it from here, which it only turns into 56 right now. Okay, let's try it. I forgot how hard these things were to hit, but there we go. That's a solid hit from Kelly. Uh, I could still run and gun. Okay, let's do that then. Let's fire on the... 
Shield bear. There we go. That's a critical with the Talon rounds. It even, it even shreds. Why did that shred? That shouldn't be shredding. Um, I mean, I'm not, I'm not mad that it shredded, but that was a bit weird. Sixty-nine percent for a sniper shot. Might as well do it. I know she's wide out in the open. Ah, uh, and that's definitely not good. Um, I'm gonna have to move. I don't want to risk Erica's life just for that shot that will not kill it anyway. Uh, so let's move it over here. And then I can give Hilde another action as well if I wanted to. Because I think Hilde is in a bit of trouble as well. So let's give Hilde another action. And we can move Hilde uh, out of the way here. Although there's not much cover left. Ah, over here there's another okay. position. So there we go. And then that's the end of that. So, the gatekeeper, what is he going to do? Okay, he's going for uh, for Emily there. Oop! Gateway. What is gateway? Holy crap! Okay, there we go. Bladestorm did work. Okay, that goes a trooper. But that was a lot of damage. Holy crap. Gateway my ass. So the brain is out though. So that should be good. Um, I don't have restoration on Kelly yet, if I'm not mistaken. Which might be the perfect time to actually give her that ability. But... First things first, we need to kill that thing. So Emily, Emily, can you just fire at that thing? Since it's now open, ah, that's why. It's now open, so we can actually fire at it properly. There we go. And we did take more damage, I forgot about that. Okay. Should have moved everybody out of there, but uh, that was a bit of... Yeah, that was my mistake. Um, let's do some healing first, and I'll see you guys in a second. And then we grab the VIP through the window after we've healed basically everybody. And we get reinforcements on both sides. We have the package and we're moving oh, crap. Entity confirmed. Firebrand is setting up for evac. We've got multiple contacts closing on your position. Okay. It's an ambush. Hold your ground. We're gonna have to. Um, I haven't been able to reload everybody. Sh probably should have done that before this kicked off. But, um, yeah, she she can't die, can she? Um, so I'm going to have to put her over here in the corner. And then everybody else who can move into Overwatch. Because this might be interesting. Um, let's put Erica on that kill zone thing again. Um, like over here. And there we go. Dropping in. It's a mech. Is that just, just a mech? Oh no, Mac and Inspector. And then over there we get a Viper and what seems to be a Codex. Fine. That's fine. That's fine. We can deal with that. Nothing problematic. Um, and some of them will probably die because of uh, our Overwatches. That was a blatant miss. Hope it doesn't draw too much uh, overwatch fire, because that thing usually doesn't get hit anyway. That was a miss, but we do get two damage because of the stock. The target. And then we get... Is the mech going to move? No, he's probably just going to go on overwatch, yeah. And then the Codex and the Viper are going to move in for the kill towards the VIP. And Emily's shot also misses. I don't know what happened to the wall over there. But I hope it doesn't blow open. Because that's where the VIP is at the moment. And that thing already clones, of course, because it's been hit. Crap. That's not good. Oh, wow. That's not the last of it. Ooh, this is going to get interesting. Um... I can fire at the Viper from here. So I'm gonna put an Acid Bomb over here. So that's gonna remove the Overwatch on the mech. 
and put acid all over this uh, drop zone. Uh, which seems like the best uh, position at the moment. The best option here. So let's just put that over there. Filling the field with acid. There we go. They're going to have a bit of trouble moving around there. Now, um, with that being said, I could probably now try and hack it. Although, we might even be better off just moving a, a few other people inside of this, uh, this room. So we're gonna try Haywire Protocol on the bolt. 41%. 41% would be doable, because we're a bit higher than the mech itself. So let's try that. And we just get it. Okay, that's good. So the mech is taken out. It's even on our side and gonna it's gonna be a nice, a nice uh, decoy over here. So that is that. They're not in a, an ideal position, our uh, ladies over here. So we're going to have to move around a few people. I think we should probably get Marina to flag the Spectre. So the Heavy Mac is hacked. Hopefully for more than one turn. Because I've seen that happen. That it just doesn't care about anything. And uh, does its own thing. Um, let's move Emily over here. That gets her into... Blade storm range for the codex over here, which is now flanked. Uh, the Viper should also die. So let's try my shot at the Viper. I think it survived. Yep, it did. Okay, that's annoying. Um, Erica still has her pistol. But I won't be able to fire at... Yeah, I'm going to have to fire at the Viper, but it's a 50-50 shot from here. You know what, now that I have my uh, shot at it, I should probably try and... Ooh, what is my normal shot on the... Yeah, very bad. Um, I should probably try and demolition the cover of the Spectre over here. At least that side is clear then. I think it still has half cover. No, it has half cover on, on that side, okay. Um, then I think I'm gonna try the 50-50 shot with uh, Erica on the Viper. It's a coin toss, but there we go. Okay, at least the Viper is gone. Uh, so we can't forget about the Codex, of course. But now at least we have a few options to deal with the Spectre over here. He doesn't have any cover anymore. Although it seems like he does. Of course, from over there he does. So if I put Kelly... If I put Kelly over here, Absolutely. she's still in a bit of trouble though, but uh, at least we got a flank shot. That's a 100% flank shot. And that's a critical, but only 10 damage on the critical. Oh no, didn't we have another shot? Oh crap, I thought we had another shot with one of the other ladies. Well, that's going to be bad. Um, I am going to pull this, uh, this VIP back a little. Although she doesn't really have a chance now, does she? So the Spectre is over there, the Codex is over there in the corner, so she might shoot. So I think my best course of action is just to move her behind the corner here. Because if that Codex moves, she's going to get Blade Stormed. So I'm just going to move the VIP over there. And hope that that just keeps her safe. That's a shield bear going into the acid immediately. And another mech. So he gets acid burned. There we go. So the, the shield bear immediately, immediately got an acid burn. And then the spectre. What is that thing going to do? So he moves. He shouldn't have any flank shots. Oh wow. He shadow bound. <laughs> he shadow bound there we go through the wall. Fair enough. What the hell is going on? I don't know what the game is trying to say here. Okay, okay, I can deal with that. I think Erica is supposed to be on the floor, but she's not. Her weapon is, but she's still standing upright. Oh, that's more annoying. Psionic bomb, yeah. Not that much of a problem. We still have a few extra weapons. There we go, Blade Storm on that other codex, so that did work. That did work, and that's our third kill with Bladestorm. Ooh, 
when there's another drop point. There's another drop point. Um, I could use the same trick with uh, with Emily there, so that's not too bad. Now, what is bad, however, is that there's a lot of people over here that have their weapon disabled. Um, and of course, the Spectre is in a pretty good position as well. Let's just do some some rockets on me, myself, and Irene. Because I can actually do that on myself, which is uh, okay for now. Um, but since that other bolt is still on Overwatch, there we go. Yes, it will cause friendly damage. There we go, just fire at myself. There we go. Then. Overwatches should be gone. So I think I'm going to move... Kelly around a bit. Um, although I think from there she also has sight on the... On the spectre over there. So let's just move her. Oh, she doesn't really have a good position. Because everybody's over there. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill the spectre. So I might as well just move over here. Then combat protocol the uh, spectre. There we go. That should kill it. Give it a little jolt. There we go. Come on. Bye bye. And that gives us Erica back and gets rid of the shadow. And Kali goes to Colonel, which is good. So that gives her uh, the restoration ability finally. Next up should be, I think, I still have a grenade with uh, Erica. For some reason, she can't throw that through the wall. Uh, so I'm going to have to move around a little bit. That's Codex is still there as well. Does Hilda have combat protocol? She does, actually. So that should be a good idea. I think that's just outside of the radius of the, the psionic bomb. And that gives her sight on the Codex. I might even just put it over here. Because remember, we need to move everybody out of the, that circle before we uh, end the turn. Combat protocol on the Codex, so we definitely kill it. It should also do more damage since it's on a, a robotic enemy. But otherwise, five damage is guaranteed, so... There we go. Promotion for Hilda as well. Then, Jacqueline is definitely in that circle. And she's out of grenades. With Jacqueline over here, so all out of that uh, out of that circle. I don't. Does she has an have an auto loader? It looks like she might even have an auto loader. Is that a free reload? It is. Yes, it is. Okay. So that means we can actually lay down some shredding on the heavy mech if we hit, of course. And uh, we do. And the hack defense is decreased as well. It's almost down then. Even I think I might just go for a pistol shot on the mac then so there we go pistol shot on uh wait what how do you not what again we have this weird bug where for some reason she can't see the guy that's right in front of her um okay then i'm just gonna i need to toss that grenade then on the mac that's annoying but there's nothing else I can do about that. Grenade on the Mac. Boom. One Mac down. And then... Uh, Marina can just reload. Just Marina reloads. And then we only have a shield barrier that can still do damage. Um, I should maybe put... Yana, our VIP, in the corner here. And then I'm going to abuse the hell out of Emily. So I'm going to put her just right over here. Let's do this. Right in the middle of this uh, this zone. And then put her on Overwatch as well. So she should have Overwatch and Bladestorm on everything that jumps down. I mean, this is cheating, right? And there's another code Dax. Um, and the Mac takes another Acid Burn, which is good. It should probably almost die. The shield bear, is the mech gonna come back? No, it's just no longer burning. That thing explodes. Taking nobody with it. And then we get... Hello, Codex. Hello, Codex. You're gonna get shot in the face. There we go. Boom. 
We missed. How the hell did we miss? Uh, don't forget your blade storm, by the way. Uh, th take this with you. There we go. <laughs> and is that trooper going to do the same thing? Trying to run away? Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> I feel like that's basically cheating. Does that shielding actually go all the way to that trooper over there? It doesn't. Okay, that's good. It does have a, a range of some uh, description. Yes. Brand is in position for the extraction. Get out of there before things get any worse. Yeah, indeed. So we need to extract. I'll use this opportunity to get rid of the VIP immediately. Uh, so where is she? Where is she? Here she is. Uh, she probably can reach that in one go. There we go. Damn. The Mac is still here. Might as well do a kamikaze run. I don't want to risk the Mac uh, doing something else. So if it loses the 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 hack stat. There we go. So let's bomb this entire area. That should kill myself. That's good. That's what we wanted. Heavy Mac down. Then. Um, we have shredding on Marina. And we're in a pretty good position. This shield bay is going to be down for the count. But of course, do we want to kill that thing? Can we reach? No, we can't reach the evac zone just yet. So might as well move one square away. Here I come. One move away, I should say. And then fire at the shield bay from here. That was clearly a hit. It takes care of the shielding. Um, then Hilda, I think, would sh be able to get into the evac zone, right? Yeah. So from there, I can have her reload it. And let her kill the shield bear. It's not a guaranteed kill. Nope. There we go, because we missed. No, you don't. Um, Jacqueline, while we're at it. Let's give you a try. There we go. So, uh, shield bear down. Let's move uh, further with only single moves. Uh, and of course, evac our um, VIP. Firebrand has the VIP. Time to get the rest of the squad out of there before they get overrun by those damn things. Uh, let's slash the trooper while we're at it. I mean, we're here. We don't get the extra move from Implacable, which I might have you used now. But uh, that is that at least. And now we can move away. Absolutely. And also go into Overwatch uh, right here. Covering now. Come get some. And we get another trooper and another trooper. Okay. Not that much of a problem. We have a few Overwatch shots. That is one. Ah, oh, Callie misses. Callie misses. We have a pistol shot. There we go. And that misses as well. Even with tracer rounds, so that's yeah, sad. But yeah, I don't think we need to worry about those two guys. We picked up a lull in their forces. It looks like they're running out of reinforcements. Let's get moving before that changes. I mean, there's another reinforcement coming. That doesn't sound like a lull in reinforcements, but let's just try and get out of here. Can we actually move out now? No. No, Marina can't get out. Um, so I'm going to put as many as I can up top here. So let's remove the cover of... I don't think I can remove that steel beam, can I? I'm not even going to try. So let's take out the cover of the guy on the left. There we go. So he's wide out in the open now. Um, I can use, let's see, I can use Erica's shot. No, I can't use Erica's shot. So Erica should probably just move up. Not a problem. Right over there. Then, um, Hilda can do the same thing. I'm okay. not sure if she's going to lose the shot on the trooper on the left from here. Seems like she still should have a shot. There we go. 95% in the face. No critical, though. So we're going to have to fire again. Kelly can move to the left. 
where she has a shot on that un well flanked trooper over there. So let's kill him. There we go. Another kill for Kelly. Then I'm gonna have to put um, Erica on Overwatch. Move um, Jacqueline back, but I'm not really sure to where. Should probably move her all the way back up to the uh, the higher platform. If that trooper wants to do anything, he's gonna be uh, in trouble. So let's just do that. And another trooper, and probably another. Ooh, Max. That's annoying because Max have Overwatch. Oh wow, she can see that through that gap. So that's five damage on the trooper already. Fair enough. And a mech on Overwatch. But that means that the trooper over here actually gets a move. And he misses. Okay. And I think that's high time we get out of here. Although that mech is of course still on Overwatch. But the problem is, is that I think if I move up... That mech is going to trigger its Overwatch. Should probably test this out with somebody who isn't damaged. Um, yeah, Marina, you're perfect because you're armored. So uh, let's put you all the way as far back as possible. Off. And let's let you draw the overwatch if it happens. It doesn't seem to be happening. Which is good. So that means that I can move everybody into the evac zone and get the hell out. Oh, no. Of course, now he triggers. Oh, wow. That was bullshit. She's on the move. And I'm at a higher elevation and everything. That should not have hit. Okay. Bullshit aside, we can make it out now. And there we go. Jacqueline out as the last Valkyrie. And we are home safe. We did take a lot of damage. But that just means that the armor is doing its, its, uh, its job. So uh, I'm fine with that. And there we go, back home. Emily definitely was the MVP of this match, so we uh, have a new very good ranger. That Bladestorm ability is just amazing. Uh, everybody's wounded though, but only for a maximum of 5 days. The tiredness might actually be a bit more worrying. Um, but that was the reason why I didn't take my best people. But our first major grenadier, either Salvo or Hail of Bullets. Salvo is launching, throwing grenades or using heavy weapons with your first action, will not end your turn. And Hail of Bullets, unleash a Hail of Bullets that is guaranteed to hit your target but uses a lot of ammunition. Um, both of them are really good. Um, but I think Salvo is the better option, allowing you to do more within your turn. So being able to fire twice is just perfect. Then we have Emily promoted to captain, which gives her uh, untouchable. Definitely, I don't care about deep cover, just untouchable. Then we have um, Hilde, and Hilde gets covering fire or threat assessment. I think we're gonna just go for covering fire. So overwatch shots can now be triggered by any enemy action, not just movement. There we go. And then for Kali, of course, we're gonna go for restoration. Because uh, we could have used that in the last mission. And uh, restoration is just too good to pass up. And that's basically it. Everybody wounded, everybody tired. But four promotions out of that as well. Which is what, why we were there. And we got a VIP. Which is now our engineer. Who is now our engineer. And we get 90 intel on top of that. Not the best thing. But we did get um, an engineer with some... Ooh, and Hilda got the negative trait. Fear of psionics. We could get rid of that immediately. I think, or not, or not. Um, I'm gonna go to the, don't we have a soldier bomb to improve? Probably not at the moment because they're wounded. But I could do that once we get rid of the wounds. So I need to keep an eye on that. We still have an extra engineer to use, um, which I don't really have a use for. So I'm just gonna put the engineer. Oh, I even have two engineers available at the moment. So let's just put that into power. And we know we can move them out if we need to. So I would have liked to attack the Warlock before a supply drop. Because of course he gains intel at the supply drop. But right now seven people are wounded. Among which a few of our best people. So I think if we really want to finish this properly. Killing the Warlock. I need to wait at least five days to get Kali back. So that means that we need to start scanning again. 
um, which means we're going to get the supply drop, which means that the Warlock will have more intel on, uh, on us to come and find us, which is not good. But at least, hey, at least we uh, get something in return for it. So let's get the intel, which we'll probably not be able to, because um, it's seven days. I could go to, where is it? I think it's the Templars, right? Where you heal faster. That would be an option. Just heal a little bit faster. Maybe I can heal up before the. Uh, I don't know how f how much faster that is. If it's that, if if that is double the time, well half the time, then we might be able to do it before. No, the supply drop just dropped to two days, so I don't think. So I can call for Jacqueline Morale. Urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. And we got the supply drop. High hopes for the resistance under your leadership, Commander. And you have outdone yourself. Why, thank you. They're positive again. That's really, really good. So the Avatar progress is really low at the moment. And we did all that. We even killed an alien ruler, which is good. And we get 500 supplies for that. But... Ooh, that was close. Chosen haven't given up on oh, and the hunter. One of them is closer than ever. Yeah, the hunter just uh, improved a lot, so we need to just dive in. Um, one week before an alien facility, we got risk of ambush on covert actions and on high alert, making them more aware. That is fine. I don't really care about all of those. Weapons research, I'll still need that for one more month. Um, but covert actions, contact with new regions is made instantly. I think we have the time for that now. Um, so let's just remove this card. Remove the weapon speed as well and put that underneath the Reapers. Now, um, I think... Ooh, that is really good actually. All battle madness only lasts one turn. So panic, obsession, berserk and shattered. I haven't seen obsession or shattered just yet. <laughs> Which is interesting. So I don't know if that's so useful. But will recovery in all soldiers is 20% faster. That just means they get back 20% faster every time. Um, which I think is probably the more interesting one at the moment. There we go. And then we can actually go and grab our supply drop. Which is right over here. We did heal up a little bit faster, so that should be nice as well. And let's just grab all of our supplies. That's a COVID action. So we got an extra contact out of that, which is good, because I think that's what we need. There's still no way to recruit a skirmisher. That is sad. I would have liked that. To finally have a skirmisher in our squad, but it's not uh, it's not happening. Um, I can't do the Chosen Hunter just yet, because I want to have my best people available when we go after the Warlock. After that, we'll definitely go for Hunt the Chosen Hunter again. Um, and other than that, I think I'm going to play it super safe and reduce the Avatar project progress. So we get Elisabetta and Gertrude out on this mission to reduce the Avatar project progress, which gives us a delay of six days, which is good. We will begin the covert action immediately, Commander. Then we need a few more days to get the supplies, and then we'll head out towards the Warlock. But before that, we get the beam cannon, which is uh, really, really good, the beam cannon. So uh, now we can build that, and we have no, not a single piece of research that is now faster than faster. So I think, logically, we should first go for the sector pod breakdown. The upgrade to the... Um, to the gremlins is just too good to leave there. I can't do the plasma lands before the Archon autopsy as well, but sectopod first. Been told, our troops took to calling this large robotic unit a sectopod, under the initial assumption that it was being controlled by a sectoid pilot. On closer inspection, we can see that is not the case. Not unlike the mechanized advent units, which were likely derived from the sectopod itself, this machine seems to be entirely autonomous. So there we go, entirely autonomous and no sectoid in there. So the name is not exactly correct, but that, that is dead. Vision. And we get training completed, and that should get her to sergeant immediately, which is good. I'm not gonna train the other ones just yet. I'm gonna keep our rookies. And there we go, the spark development completed. So just like dad used to make. Let's, um, you know what, carry on. But we get sergeant. Is that a sergeant? Screwer. 
Squirrel? Squirrel. Uh, and for this playthrough, by the way, the spark is uh, a woman. Um, uh, she's a... She's a she. It's a female soldier. Oh, look at that. They actually look pretty cool. Oh, Nale. I have never seen these guys. Um, and we got all of our supply drop. That's really cool. Okay, I want to check that out. I want to check that out. Do we still have something in the Proven Grant? No. No. Uh, we need to choose a project, but I don't think... I do have two cores. Fine. Then I think we should probably go for... You know what? I want to try one of those experimental armor thingies. So let's try that. And then we can put... Another um, experimental powered weapon, maybe? These look fancy. So then maybe get another one of those. There we go. So first things first, Elizabeth Davis is now uh, nicknamed Bandit. And she's a sergeant um, a ranger, which gives her Phantom or Blade Master. I'm going to go for Blade Master every time. And of course, Shadow Step. So there we go. She's on her way to becoming a one hell of a ranger. And she has a glorious haircut. And then we have Spark001. Look at this thing. So it comes with a few abilities. Overdrive, Shredder, Arsenal, Mechanical Chassis and Hack. Um, can I see those abilities? Yeah. Oh no, I can't wait. Do I get... Because I want to check out the ability info. That actually has a complete... Skill tree, this is cool. I thought it might have just a few abilities like the max from before, but this is a fully outfitted uh, skill tree there. So SQR is quiet, so it's uh, night ranks, which is cool. Overdrive, so I know what Shredder is. Arsenal probably gives us more weapons. Mechanical chassis, maybe some defensive options. And hacking is probably just hacking. Um, but this looks cool. I'm going to bring that on our next mission because it's... It has 10 health, which is not amazing, but we can give that weapon an upgrade. What other weapons can I give you, by the way? So the armor can even change. The heavy auto cannon can probably be something else, but nothing in my uh, inventory just yet. And it can use... Ooh, it can use the blaster launcher. And what's the spark bit? Uh, spark bit allows sparks to execute a variety of... Can I rotate him? Because he's in front of the text. Um, of battlefield tasks from safer distances. The bit accompanies the spark and can be issued protocols with which aid allies, hack electronic gadgets, targets or damage enemies. The bit generally goes unnoticed by enemies and cannot take damage or be destroyed. It will shut down if its owner is incapacitated or killed. So basically another gremlin. Because um, it actually, yeah, it's in the back there. It looks like a, a gremlin as well. That is really, really cool. Um, it is marked as Mark 1, so I'm wondering if we can even upgrade those things. Probably have some, uh, some research for that. Maybe something that will be available once we've uh, investigated the uh, sector world. But really, really cool. I'm not going to take, as I said, I'm going to take it on the next mission. Okay, I'm not going to. Because, of course, we're going to hit the uh, Warlock uh, next time. So I'm not going to wait on anything else. We're just going to go straight for the Chosen Stronghold. Operation Wolf Walker. Um, I'm not exactly sure. You know what? I'm just going to say launch mission. We'll see. I can always save at the beginning of the mission if I can't uh, back out of it once I uh, select the team. But uh, yeah, the Chosen Warlock, or second Chosen that we'll be able to take out if we are successful. And let's hope we are successful. Spark ready for combat, Chosen Stronghold, we need to take him out, otherwise we don't have another shot. And even if they are wounded or being repaired, can always be sent on missions, but they cannot pick up or carry other soldiers. Okay, so there are weapon upgrades for the Spark unit in, uh, available in the engineering right now. So there's an Illyrium face cannon for the Spark. I'm not going to bring the spark on this mission though, so I'm just going to go for the beam cannon. Uh, maybe even upgrade the beam auto pistol as well, doesn't take any, well, not that much supplies. Um, otherwise, I can also upgrade, ooh, look at that. I can upgrade the armor of the spark here as well, which I'm not going to do just yet, but it's cool to know that it's there. And then I need to do some setup. 
And this is going to be it. So on Operation Wolfwalker. For some reason it's only marked as difficult. But I'm going to suppose it's a lot harder than it seems. We're going to take uh, Christina Castro with Dragon Rounds and a bit of extra armor. Sarah Klein with the Skulljack and a Medikit. Then Lena Bauer with all of her amazing abilities and the Frost Bomb. Jacqueline Morrell in the War Suit for once with the Shredstorm Cannon, the Flashbang and the Acid Bombs. Uh, of course Heidi back in the Assassin gear with the uh, Mimic Beacon and the Talon Browns which uh, really worked well the last, uh, in the last mission. And then of course Elena with her awesome abilities. Uh, still not a plasma variant of the Demnotic Rifle but still with Banish she should be able to uh, kill the Warlock in one go if we get the chance. So that's for next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of XCOM 2 The Valkyrie Play 2 and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching and goodbye.